Camo Gaming. And honestly, once you have the shotgun ice and the best weapon in the game from Storm Eagle, the world's kind of your oyster, but I'll go ahead and take Spark Mandrel next because he is allergic to Joe Penguin's weapon, and the enemies in his stage can be dealt with pretty easily with his weapon. So let's get moving. Also, there are some fair and handy power-ups to be collected in this stage as well. <laughs> It's hard not to rock out on this OST. Must be why he's Rockman in Japan. There's a power-up down here, but you actually can't get it unless you have Boomer Kowanger's Boomerang. Yeah, so we'll have to come back here with Boomer Kowanger's Boomerang to get that. And otherwise, we got ourselves a dead end, so... Just showing that off, that that's a thing. Loop back around and you'll have a ladder obstacle and a tanky boy to contend with. Devs thought it was nice, so we do it twice. This is the platform hook of the stage. Since Storm Eagle crashed here, it's all smashed, hence the lights are failing and this light bug beams elimination down the corridor. Mm. Accompanying my bulb bootied buddy are some familiar faces from other stages. Just use the weapon from Storm Eagle to clear a path, but mind your ammo for the mini boss. I think I'll be good on that for a hot second. Or is it the next room that I need? No, this is the next room. This gloopy dude wants to pin you in place and bash you with its weight. We can't let that happen. This is why you want to have some ammo left in the storm tornado. Be fleet afoot, and this clown will fold. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Alright. Pushing on, we have another blackout corridor, but some new enemy types. These roller drones will speed up to a frenzy when damaged. I recommend being patient, clearing out enemies as you gain ground, and mind the turrets. Oop, oh, yeah, there's that one, I forgot. I don't want to need this. They may remind you of the turrets from the airships Super Mario Bros. 3, and those reflexes would serve you. Hike the wall and make your way to the turtle tanks. You want to storm tornado these fools. Ice works, but honestly, we need all that ammo for later. There it is. I initially passed this container up in my previous playthrough. There you go. Oh, I shouldn't have used that one. I'm gonna put the footage of me grabbing it in right where you'll need it for a walkthrough. That wall jump tests you pretty well. Stop the video on the frame where I kick off to get a sense of the timing. You'll be rapidly wall jumping a second time to claim this power. Uh -huh. The final obstacle is another flickering hallway. The challenge is extended this time, but you know the enemy types. Gain ground with the Storm Tornado and go confront old Sparky. Alright, good to go. Switch to Shotgun Ice and let the Simeon Maverick have it. Should have enough ice juice to get through this. It's time for his comeuppance. Yes, it's this simple. There's a bit of a timing window to perfect the stun lock, but if you're out of shotgun ice, you can rely on a fully charged buster, which yields the same amount of damage. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the same properties of the shotgun ice. Allergic. He's allergic to the cold. I think he died. Poor man. You get the electric spark! Spark, spark, spark! Spark! Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. Leave me a comment, tell me what you do want to watch. Uh, tell me what you're into, and maybe we can meet someone in the middle. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing, I'm trying to put up some videos, try to be somewhat successful, and if I could spend more time doing this and less time, you know, working for people who don't appreciate me, then that'd be cool too. So, take it easy. Kept you waiting, huh? There it is. It's one of those tricky jumps. A little tricky jump action, isn't it? There we go. 